I'm going to show you how to do the level 102 target in the Corrupted Contagion Raid for instant repair. Hey everyone, Derpy here, welcome back to another Battle Pirates video. As we go ahead and get started, I'm going to start out autoing the target just to talk about a few things in there when my fleet is cleaning up the outside. We do have the missile turrets right here. These things do no damage. If you have one single MDS-3 on the fleet, you're good to go, as long as it, of course, has a countermeasure special. Those are fine. We also have the anti-turrets. You don't have to worry about those at all. They're just anti-turrets, and they don't actually fire at missiles, so that's fine. Next up, we do have these directional turrets. Just go ahead and hover over those. That will tell you where you need to be. We have these ships, which I'm much more worried about. This first ship you want to engage, hit with your forward-facing weapons. If you have X1, spin around, hit it with the rear-facing weapons. That way, it's dead and only gets one volley off at you. If you take damage on the target, this and nowhere else is where it should be from. Let's go ahead and engage the Marauders here. I'm going to loop around and hit the far right side. I think TSM on his stream may have done it a little bit differently, but I'm going to go ahead and hit the far right side here, get these two, run away from them, and kill them. Should be fairly straightforward. At the same time, you will also notice that we do have a few other things in this target. We have this directional firing arc. I'm not worried about that. I'm just staying really far away from it. And I also have two other ships. I'm going to help go ahead and give myself some run distance, so I have room to maneuver to the right, excuse me, and go ahead and kill a few things here. If you do have X1, you can do the whole spin forward, spin backwards thing. Try and reduce damage if possible, get things into overlapping fields, and you're good. If you don't, just try and stay running away from them directly away, and you can actually outrun them pretty well with no additional refits, specials, etc. needed. Against these turrets right here, this flamethrower one, really not an issue, very ar fire and arc is out of the way. Same thing for this one, just kill those, and it's a very, very easy target with those out of the way. These missiles, again, do no damage. Do make sure you outrange this corrosive turret. It is going to do a lot of damage to you if you get close to it. I shouldn't say a lot. I should say some. But even on auto, you don't get hit by the, those corrosive turrets. Again, against the Marauders, run towards them. When they start moving, turn around here and start moving away from them. If you hit one group, you can go ahead and use your weapons and the forward one. Spin back forward, hit it with those ones. Spin around again, use the rear ones. Really just go back and forth, back and forth. If you don't have a single ship at X1, try and use tokens to get it up there. It helps out an incredible amount in this particular target. And again, if you are unfortunate enough to have none of them at X1, just try and head away from them the entire time. Stay running away, you only have forward-facing weapons, but it's the best you can do. Unfortunately, I can't re-scrap my, scrap my ships and rebuild them at U0 to test them out here. You saw me do this similar move on this ship that this sunk right here, using, again, just the forward weapons, stun it, turn around, and hit it with the backward one so it only gets one volley off at you. Notice my flagship is the thing that took 100% of the damage in this target. I did get a little bit unlucky with the evade. In here, generally, I take less damage. When my fifth ship, because I'm actually only using four right now, finishes upgrading to U3 and eventually X1, I will go ahead and uh, refit the flagship a little bit, add a bait upgrade, something like that. Nothing crazy, not an insane build, but something just a little bit closer to higher evade. You can see 100% of the damage I took was penetrative. Um, you can tell because there's nothing corrosive on here, and it was all actually on the flagship. Total repair time is 6 minutes and 17 seconds, which is not instant repair. But hey, it's pretty close. I'm going to go ahead and change the thumbnail a little bit. And sorry if I was misleading at the beginning of this video. It generally is instant repair. This time it wasn't. I am going to have to refit the flagship, add on a bait upgrade. Instead of some of these damage boosting specials, just don't drop the range one. Again, here's the build. It is also shown in the builds document in the description below. I only have two MDS-3 on the entire fleet. Only have four ships because ship number five is upgrading to U3 right now. I'll use tokens to get that done out here fairly soon. I'm going to go ahead and make a video on the 103 as well. It is a much more interesting target. You've got to drive it. Whereas if I auto this one right here, I generally get about 20 minutes damage. With that said, I want to go ahead and say thank you to those who's, who, folks whose names appear on screen now. They're helping support this channel. If you want your name on here, and I will be updating this fairly soon, go ahead and click the join button on the below the YouTube video wherever you are watching this. With that said, and until next time, this is going to be Derpy signing out, helping you be a better pirate.